And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create Air Honeycomb photo collage in Adobe Illustrator. It involves the polygon tool and some masking. Let's make sure in the view we've got the smart guides and only snap tool and activate it. I'll use the polygon tool, hold shift when you drag that and hold shift when you rotate it with the selection tool. I'll drag a copy out of it by holding alt. I swept the colors for both and now I position the second one directly on top of the first one. Hold shift when you drag it to the left hand side so that it snaps in the horizontal line. Let me increase the stroke value to 5. And when I press Ctrl Y, I switch the outline mode and you can see that it's correctly positioned on top. I select them both, hold or drag a copy out of it. And they are once again directly positioned on the center of the stroke of the first two on the left. Then I copy that group and hold or drag a copy to the bottom. I want to put it at the intersection, so let me press Ctrl Y again, then I hold Ctrl and I connect the anchor points. If I switch back with Ctrl Y, we've got it perfectly positioned. I repeat the process once more with the bigger group. And this is the basic that we want to have. Let me give it a fill color. I'll make that red. And I'll make the stroke white. So that fits the white background well. And now I've got an image here. Let me connect that to the first honeycomb, so the first polygon. Make sure that it's in the background. So it needs to be behind the polygon shape. Select them both, then right click and create clipping mask. You can select them both, holding shift and clicking on each. And if you want to resize that, double click on it. Otherwise, you are resizing the polygon shape as well, and we don't want to have that. So double click so that you are inside of the clipping group, and then you can move around and resize the image. And now it's just about repeating this process for the others. I've got a couple of images more here. And it's the same process. I shift click on the photo and the polygon shape. But make sure it's in the background. So it is crucial. If you don't do that, you will get this warning message. It's best practice to just select all of the photos, then right click and send to back. That way they're all behind the shapes that we are masking them to. And once again, double click on it and you can resize it and move it around. So you might have noticed when we've got two of these shapes masked that are next to each other, the stroke is going to vanish. A good way to deal with that is to just select all of your shapes and then drag a copy out of it to the right hand side. So once again hold Alt with the selection tool. Let me get rid of the ones that I've already masked. And I'll fill these empty spots with new ones. The smart guides help me with that. Alright, then select it all and get rid of the fill color. So I make it none. It still has the white stroke. And now you can drag it on top of the first one. And you can see we've got our white frame or the white stroke back. And this is the way to do that. So let me keep that here on the right hand side while I fill the other shapes with more images.
So once I've got them filled, I'll put the frame on it. And now you can, for example, select all of the empty ones and make them none as a fill color. In some occasions that looks good, or you can give them a different fill color that fits your background well, like I did in a thumbnail where I used the orange fill color. And this is how you can create this honeycomb photo collage in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.